Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy. Uh, I have a little haul that I want to film for you guys today. This is mostly books, but I have two things that aren't books, but I wanted to share those anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get the non-book things out of the way first. Uh, I got this advent calendar of puzzles from Aldi. Do you guys have Aldi where you are? I don't think it is everywhere. I think it's kind of a regional thing. But Aldi is like a German uh, grocery store. And I love it. I'm a big fan of Aldi. They have really interesting um, things, especially seasonally. If you go in there seasonally, they have stuff that I just don't see anywhere else. Uh, but yeah, I found this advent calendar puzzle. It has 12 puzzles and each puzzle is 80 pieces each, which is perfect. My cat just bumped the, <laughs> the phone. Um, it's perfect for a person like me who wants to puzzle, but I'm really bad at it. Uh, it takes me forever to do a puzzle that's like 500 pieces. So yeah, 80 pieces is perfect. I feel like this is something I could sit down and work on like maybe while eating dinner or something, but they're all winter Christmassy scenes. So yeah, I am very excited to get into this. I guess I'll open it on December 1st. And since it's 12, um, do every other day instead of every day. Or I guess I could do 12 days in a row. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But yeah, I'm very excited for this. And I want to say this was like $10. So pretty inexpensive. The next thing I got, uh, I picked up at McKay's used bookstore. I actually went there... <laughs> Um, in September, I went for my birthday. I always try to go there on my birthday and do some damage <laughs> to some shopping. Um, so yeah, I've had these books and this item for a while now. Uh, but this is an escape room game. Uh, my family loves escape room mystery type of games. This one is called Escape the Room Mystery at the Stargazer's Manor. This says it is a party event for gatherings of three to eight people. Yeah, this is from the company Think Fun. It says it should take about 90 minutes. I've never played one from this particular brand before, so hopefully it's good. Sometimes I feel like you don't get the best clues and you, you just don't have a great ability to solve the mystery. So hopefully this is a good one. And this haul might seem a little weird, but like I said, I got these books in September. So I had, you know, fall reading on my mind and I actually I don't think I've read any of these <laughs> so I guess I will be reading them next fall but I found this one American Gothic Tale and this is short gothic stories um, by Nathaniel Hawthorne, Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft, Shirley Jackson, Ray Bradbury, uh, a bunch of classic authors and more contemporary authors. I love gothic stories. I just really love the aesthetics of gothic-y type of tales, you know, the castles, the moors, fall, all of that sort of thing. So yeah, I've probably read quite a few of these stories over the years. Um, they looked like they were pretty um, well-known stories when I flipped through it, but I'm glad to have that collection. The next one I was super excited to find. Look how... Um, 70s psychedelic this looks. This is Tales of Terror and Mystery by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock. And I did not know that this book existed. Uh, it also has illustrations in it. I didn't realize he wrote this many uh, short stories besides the Sherlock stories. Uh, I did read his uh, what's it called? The Lost World with the Dinosaurs. I read that many years ago, but I didn't know that these stories existed. So when I saw this at the used bookstore, it had to be mine. Uh, very happy for that purchase. This is Great Horror Stories. Uh, again, another collection of short stories, but these seem to be all classics. So I do make exceptions for classic horror stories because they are really nothing like the horror that is out in the world today or the stuff that's being written today. Um, so there's H.G. Wells, Wilkie Collins, Oscar Wilde, uh, Daniel Defoe. So I really do love classics. I like darker classics. I feel like classic horror stories are more about um, teaching a lesson 
there is some kind of moral vibe weaved in these stories for the most part, whereas today that doesn't seem to exist anymore. So yeah, I love classic dark tales. I did tell you this is going to seem weird since we're going into Christmas time. These books don't really match the season right now, but um, I'm also very excited for this one, Perfect Crime. These are all short stories that involve mysteries and a cat, which I love both. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know I love mysteries and I love cats. Uh, so this has Dorothy L. Sayers, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Bram Stoker, Isaac Asimov is in here. Again, I was so excited to see this in the store. I've never seen a book like this before. Uh, whoever thought to put this collection together is a genius. All right, moving on. I got this thriller, All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. I think her name's Miranda, but it's covered up by the sticker. Uh, it says Target on here, but I also got this at McKay's. This is a contemporary thriller, and I've never read anything by her before, uh, but I do like contemporary thrillers. Well, some of them, they're hit or miss with me, but I heard this was a really good one. So if you've read this, let me know if it's good. I picked up this one, Stolen Remains, A Lady of Ashes Mystery. This takes place during Victorian times and it is about an undertaker in London who is a woman. So say no more. <laughs> this sounds fantastic. It's part of a series. I noticed that my um, library has these books. So I will probably just read this as an ebook. Which is really weird that I ever buy books at all anymore because normally if I buy a book, I end up just getting it on my Kindle and reading it that way through my library because I just prefer to read on my Kindle. It's just easier for me to read that way. The next one fits in with my um, Poe theme. This is Nevermore by Harold Scheiter. Shader? I'm not really sure how you say that. And it is actually about Edgar Allan Poe, and I think it follows him while he's trying to solve a crime in Baltimore. And I was born and raised in Baltimore, and that's mainly why I'm such a huge Poe fan, because Poe was kind of everywhere in Baltimore. That is where he died. He did live there for a little while, but that's where he died. Um, and so that's why we have the Baltimore Ravens, our football team, is because of Edgar Allan Poe. So yeah, that's why I'm a fan. But yeah, I am looking forward to this one. It's kind of chunky though, so I don't know how soon I'm going to get to that. Uh, the next one is this, how pretty is that cover? It is just stunning, called Victorian Gothic uh, by Philip Gwynne Jones. I really wanted to read this one in November. It takes place on November 2nd, All Saints Day in Venice, Italy. And it has to do with some kind of uh, mystery happening there. Again, this is part of a series and I'm not sure if I have to read these in order and I will probably get this in ebook form as well. Yeah, like Venice is such a gorgeous uh, city. I've never been, but <laughs> it looks gorgeous and it looks just like a very interesting place to read about. Um, all right, moving on to the next book. I found this really fun bind up of Dracula, Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I own all these books. <laughs> I, I own all these books and I've read Dracula and Dr. Jekyll. I've never read Frankenstein. I've never been interested in reading it. It always just seemed like it would be a very depressing story. And I just was not interested in reading it. But I really loved this cover. I thought this was really fun. This reminds me of like Las Vegas neon lights kind of thing. And I really liked having all three in one. Um, although I'm not the biggest fan of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I do love Dracula though. Dracula is one of my all time favorite books ever written. Uh, but yeah, I just mainly bought this for the cover. Alrighty, last two. I've got two Christmas books or Christmas mystery books. Um, this first one is this. This is The Christmas Card Crime and Other Stories. This is from the British Library Crime Classics um, series. I think that's what it's called. Uh, there's a bunch of books out that look kind of like this and I would like to collect them all because I love these covers, but I have never read any of them. Uh, so I hope they're good. 
So this apparently is a bunch of different Christmassy mystery stories. So I will try to get to some of these in December. And the last one I have is this one. Practically the same thing, but this is Christmas Crimes Holiday Mysteries by Agatha Christie um, and nine others. I really love mysteries as short stories. I like just sitting down when I have a few minutes and getting through a whole story. Uh, it makes me feel very accomplished. <laughs> so yeah, I am again looking forward to this. I feel like on booktube there's normally a mystery, like a mystery readathon thing that happens through December. Is that a thing? Am I remembering this correctly? And if so, is it happening again this year? I haven't been on booktube as much as I would like though lately. I will try to go back and ca get caught up. But in the meantime, does anybody know if the December mystery readathon is going on? Because if so, I have a couple books similar to this that I could put together as a TBR. So there's that. All right, guys, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know if you've read any of these or if you have really good uh, Christmassy themed mystery books to read in December. I would love to know that. Uh, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day and I will see y'all soon. Bye.